Watch to the end of the video for a word on designer pop-up store. Saturations, adios, flatulence. We are in week two of the UK lockdown and I'm telling you, barbers should be classed as key workers. For those of you who have survived from your girlfriend's attempt at a trim, we have officially entered hat season. And oh, would you look at the time? It's the first Sunday of the month, which can only mean it's sick fits time, sick fits time. The legendary show where I rate subscribers outfits, you rack them up and I knock them down. <laughs> no, that's not a good metaphor. So today we have a hearty selection of fits on my Instagram page at the the beginning of the month I said there was no theme and if you want to get involved in sick fits you like the idea of a complete internet stranger analyzing your clothing then information on how to submit at the end of the video so let's jump into the first outfit why am I pointing so much black oversized collusion t-shirt brown Dickies 874 trousers brown adidas superstar track jacket tobacco asos design beanie and the converse all-star chalk tailored classics first thing that i like about this outfit color blocking is on point my favorite thing about this outfit is the combination of the chucks and the trousers the dickies had their time my man keeping the trend alive thank you for sending in your outfit super dry lumberjack style jacket thrifted lee jeans a black hoodie and out of the picture we've got some black timberlands we're just about to enter springtime but we're in a little weird transition at the moment where it's still kind of wintry weather so we need something a little bit less wintry and something a little bit more ah oh, spring friendly this is the outfit for that you've got the lumberjack jacket paired with the hoodie classic combination and then everything else is just filler at this point because like the top end of that outfit is where it bangs street ready clean ready for spring thank you for sending in your outfit well there's a lot of finger pointing today zara jacket top man jumper next trousers jw anderson converse and the weekday hat and belt combo so here we have that indoor quarantine outfit i appreciate that stay home stay safe classic menswear look black jacket black jeans little bit of color in the middle there that's how you divide and break up an outfits need i say more a very clean and stripped back outfit it's a predominantly black outfit but it's not totally washed out because you've got the little bit of ray of sunshine in the middle there yes that's what i called it gilded hoodie the face mask stay safe fam fisherman's vest black cargo trousers and the NBA Air Force Ones. So the first thing I'm getting from this outfit is a very workwear style. And I think that's really been popping up recently. It's kind of like an entry level way into tech wear if I do say so myself. But if it works, it works. And does it work? It works. My man keeping it simple, stylish, all one color. He's like the coronavirus ninja. Nothing can touch him. That mask has given him a plus 10 protection. I can safely say that my man has coordinated the face mask with the air forces safety and stylish but wait there's more tapered cargo trousers band tote bag converse one stars the gilding hoodie and the h&m beanie so my man is risking it all taking off that face mask for his second outfit now this one i like a little bit more because i'm in love with these trousers the combination of the hoodie tote and trousers just absolutely bang i don't know what it is i think i just like the subtle details in this outfit it definitely separates itself from the rest the converse one stars classic shoe all together a very low-key outfit clean not too in your face not try hard at all and i think it's just effortlessly cool so thank you for sending in your fit vintage gucci track jacket the supreme corduroy trousers the off-white nike zoom fly black shoes and the dopest background big man so here we have one of them classic vintage inspired streetwear outfits that may not necessarily what's going on here but that's just what i think of in my head actually it kind of reminds me more of like the 80s casual hooligans i don't know if it's like the hair and track top combination but that's the kind of vibe i'm getting and of course you got those off-white nikes they're shining they're minding their own business they're like yeah we're here and what no big deal the palace cap the bape shark hoodie 
the D&G Cross Coca-Cola Puffer, the Helmet Land Painted Jeans and the Nike SB Tiffany Lows. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is what I like to call an OG flex. Bait hoodie jacket combination bangs. I'll be honest, I've always had mixed feelings about painter jeans. I've always been a bit 50-50 on the fence about them. Just because it's like, are you high fashion or a painter and decorator? Not saying they can't be the same thing, but like it's either one or the other here. But I think these painted jeans do work. I don't know what it is. It's just a nice even combination of paint splats. So you're like, yeah, that works. And it's all tied off really nicely with these Tiffany Dunks. This is easily a grail shoe for anyone's collection. I just think this whole outfit bangs. So thank you for sending in your fit. Even though you're smoking, I'm gonna let that slide. A vintage baggy suit with a plain black t-shirt and are those the Balenci Argo triple S's? Okay, so boom. I absolutely love the concept of this idea of the baggy suit. It just totally takes it out of context. Suits, you normally associate that with like formal events and blah, 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 you know the rest. But deconstruct that and make that more or less the anti-suit just because they're meant to be like form-fitting. They're meant to like stick to you and give you this like Tom forward looking type look but no the anarchy of it all it's baggy but not to the point where it looks like you're going to small claims court it's more like yeah i'm using this on a casual vibe can't you see by these hand movements that i'm just like easy going with the suit got the t-shirt underneath it as well because who needs a button-up shirt are you insane and of course we've got the balenciaga triple s's which kind of fulfills my interpretation of this outfit just because i believe the balenciaga triple s's are more like meme shoes at this point custom London t-shirt, a YSL shirt he bought from my Depop, the Rooks and Rivals Depop. What? New clothes in there right now? Thrifted trousers and a trench coat from ASOS. He's also sewn a bag handle on the Gulf Le Fleur bag that was gifted with the shoes. On foot, he's wearing the old Air Force Ones with that intentional dirty look. Okay, so this outfit screams beige boys forever. This man has definitely got 50 shades of beige. If I had to title this outfit, it would be something along the lines of preppy with edge. I mean, you could easily look at this outfit and think my man just came out of Dover Street Market. I love the custom t-shirt design on the front there. In my opinion, these customs really do deconstruct brands, which I quite like. Kind of hijacks them and turns them into their own thing, just like flipping them on their head. So you've got the Mason Mars yellow, but like a Kappa logo in the middle there. Madness, anarchy. But wait, we've got the shirt underneath it just to show there's a little bit of class with the anarchy. What's going on? Trench coat on top of it, tucked in, belt, chinos, dirty Air Force Ones. Come on, the concept of this outfit is so sick. I love it. Tote bags are in, by the way. I don't know what it is about tote bags, but they kind of just add five style points to any outfit. So invest in a good tote bag. Burberry polo, unique low cargo trousers, and the lazy laced Air Force Ones. A very, very simple combination indeed so how did it make it onto sick fits because the Burberry cargos and Air Force One combination is sick so just looking at the snapshot of this picture I absolutely love the entire ensemble here just because I always associate Burberry with this whole high fashion uptight kind of aesthetic so when people really take it back and strip it down and make it work I really appreciate that the polo just kind of falls into the cargos which kind of fall into the Air Force Ones. It's a lazy outfit, but not in a sense that's like, oh, you could do better. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's effortlessly cool. Kind of got that pose going on as well. Like, it was just lying around, I threw it together and see what happened and he made it work. It's sick. Thanks for sending in the fit. That kind of rhymed. A unique low t-shirt, Columbia jacket, 80s DKNY jeans that he painted some smiley faces on and the band Try Whites. Fun fact, if you wanna get into sick fits, all you've gotta do is do the dad look. A white t-shirt and denim jeans, timeless combination. It cannot be beat, name a better duo, I'll wait. Love the jacket over the top just to complete the look, but wait, he didn't stop there. He put the smiley faces on the jeans. Now that definitely could have been a make or break moment, but I think it works. It doesn't distract anything from the outfit. In fact, it enhances the jeans in my opinion. It's all very well put together. I love that he's done a tuck there as well. Very nice. Altogether, a sick off outfit. Thank you for sending in your fit. Thrifted vest, thrifted white t-shirt, thrifted trousers, and the Converse Chuck 
tailors with the DIY chain. So this is an outfit I can definitely get behind. I support this 100%. There's not too much going on in the t-shirt and the vest isn't so crazy. So they definitely are at the right balance for each other. You've got the little chain on there as well just to add a little bit of variety to that section. Curtain haircut by the way, that actually bangs. You've got the chinos and the chucks, timeless combination. And all together, it just has this really laid back aesthetic, but at the same time, it's like, boom, this guy knows style. Does he know style? Call that you know style, don't you fam? That's the kind of conversation we would have if we ever met. We have the Obey clothing cap, the necklace from ASOS, the Pac Sun Eagle Lightning Tee, and the purple Lightning Skater jeans from Jaded, and the Yeezy 500 Utility Blacks. This is what I like to call a specialist outfit. This just bangs on all kinds of levels. It's in your face, it's loud, it's stylish. It kind of takes the skater aesthetics into a new direction, which I love. And of course, in my opinion, it's very unique, it's themed. You can tell I've got a lot of nice things to say about this outfit. You could easily put this Eagle t-shirt in any other outfit and it will be like the main star, but he's managed to elevate this t-shirt even more with the trousers. You've got that lightning effect on both, so it's like, damn son. The Yeezy 500 hundreds was an excellent choice to pair with these trousers. I think the shape of them just add to the unorthodoxness, is that a word, of this outfit. In my opinion, it's a very unique outfit and one of my favorites of the day is to thank you for sending in your fit. And last, but definitely not least, we have the Japanese Kango bucket hat, the Peko Chan crew neck sweater the black Uniqlo cropped trousers. And I'll read you what he put for shoes. He said, you know I had to hit him with none other than the Converse One Stars. So this is a very fun outfit, which I like for a number of reasons. It's low key, you can wear this to the shops, but at the same time, it's like you'll be the best dressed person in that shop, the most unique one in there. I love the sweater. It screams pattern up and the Kangol hat and the trousers paired with the One Stars, just all items of clothing, just like sitting in the background, just like, Oh, we don't want you to pay too much attention to us. We're just here minding our own business. But then like, maybe you should have a look at, boom, this big off sweater in the middle here. Yeah, it's there, minding its own business. Low key flexing. That's how I flex, by the way, madness. A simple, clean outfit with a little bit of loudness sprinkled on top of there. And the perfect outfit to end today's episode of Sick Fits On. So that was today's episode of Sick Fits. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these was your favorite. I definitely have a couple of favorites, but vote for yours in the comment section. Let them know. If it was a banging outfit, then voice your opinion. If you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, damn son, he done such an excellent job of rating those subscribers' outfits. How do I get involved, big man? Well, let me tell you. All you have to do is send an email to sickfits at outlook.com. In the body of the email, leave me a high quality full body picture of your outfit it really does help and leave me some details of your outfit what t-shirt trousers shoes hats are you wearing and that instagram handle if you want that instagram plug i do these videos every first of the month and that sick fits inbox is always open but if you can't wait for the monthly edition of sick fits to drop then you can follow the instagram page where i post every single day and now for a few words about designer pop-up store aka dpus dpus is an online designer outlet store with a number of different brands from Balenciaga, Burberry, CP Company, Fendi, Gucci, Off-White, Prada, Stone Island, the list goes on. Here you can find a lot of discounted designer items but wait, there's more. If you want even more of a discount on this website, then just type in this discount code at checkout for a little bit more off. So there it is, the designer pop-up store. All information will be in the description down below. So check that out when you get a minute. If you like this video, then please give it a like. If you dislike this video, then please give it a dislike. If you wanna support me and the channel, especially during these like COVID season times, then all you gotta do is press that little subscribe button and that little bell notification if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video. Share this video with your friends, all of that good stuff. Thank you for watching my video. You guys are the best. Bye.